All right. First off, uh, let's introduce you. So, uh, tell me who is, you are. My name is Sean Loring, and I'm with Lazy Boy Brewing. And, uh, and what do you do here? I'm uh, one of the owners, the owner, and, uh, head brewer, along with Ty, who also brews a lot of beer. And uh, family how, operation. So it's family operated. Yeah. For how long? We've been uh, 11 years. Wow. Yeah. So uh, 2006. Where'd that uh, that seed come from? I mean, who in the family is a real beer? Uh, well, I know you all probably are now, but was I there one? I started at the Pike Place Brewing in 1992. Oh, you did. So yeah. it was your uh, yeah. initial beginning. Wow. 25 years into my sickness. <laughs> 25 years. Yeah. Well, that explains the uh, the Lazy Boy IPA I had. The uh, I could smell the citrus going up to my nose before I even put the glass to my mouth, and it was absolutely fabulous. Um, so 11 years here, same location? Same location. Yeah. So you're all, everybody's local Everett. Mm -hmm. um, I see that on your logo there it says uh, Everett Washington, even your shirts I think all say dr uh, drink local, is that right? Yep. So uh, what's the, the team logo that's beside yours on that poster? I don't recognize it. I'm not from the area. That just came about last week. We're going to be partnering with the Everett Silvertips here. And the Silvertips local, are? Local hockey team. Hockey team. Oh, yes. Very, oh, it's, I haven't seen any snow. I always forget it gets that cold up here. Yeah. Well, it's indoors. It's at the oh, it is. Okay. Arena, yeah. Excellent. So um, tell me a little bit about your beers now. I see you. How many you got there on tap? We have nine today and then one local cider. So we have, we range from a couple IPAs, but today we have three IPAs on the Belgian Golden, the Marion Hefeweizen, Blonde Ale, Amber Ale, and Imperial Red. Wow, and the, so that one tap remains open for guests? You kind of, is it On a, the cider side, yeah. On the cider side. Yeah. Do you have you ever bring any uh, guest ales in? Guest we have, yeah, we have. Um, not too much success. I don't, you know, yeah. people always, I, you think it would be more successful than it's that. I mean, yeah. I think they just come here to drink. Because they like here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've tried a lot of local other things, and they're really good beers. So, yeah. You know, I think when people come to your place, they want to drink your beer. Yeah. Well, that it's makes really perfect sense. Anything yeah. Against anybody else. Exactly. The, the, uh, the Lazy Boy, and I want to ask you specifically about the Lazy Boy because that's the one I've had. And that's, IPA. Yeah, but it's your namesake there, the Lazy Boy IPA. Is from, mm -hmm. It's kind of the flagship. Yeah, um, and while I was sitting at the bar, just about everybody that came up was asking for one. Yeah, it's definitely, what? it outsells it two to one. <clears throat> what, um, what's the reason that I was able to smell such, such a strong citrus aroma before I was even able to drink it? We a lot of hops in it. We dry hop it. So we hop burst it at the end of the boil. Put a lot of um, hops at the end of the boil, so it gets that aroma, mm -hmm. and flavor, but without a lot of bitterness. And then we dry hop it at the end of fermentation as well. Oh. Uh, so uh, okay, that makes because you have another one, and the alcohol content was exactly the same, 6.2, but one was a 70% IBU, and the other one was yeah. 55. The Lazy Boy is a 55, which is a lower yeah. bitterness rating. Yep, and yeah. the other one is with lemon drop and Azeka and El Dorado hops. So oh. They all have different flavors. Like here's that going to give you like some stone, or the El Dorado people like some stone fruit, lemon drops, oh. more citrus. So. Well, I'll be trying that later. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Well, hey, uh, secondly, we want to uh, just let everybody know exactly how they can find you. So if somebody wants to come out and try a Lazy Boy IPA, how do they get here? We're right by the Everett Mall, so we're only about a block away, just off 7th. The address is 715 100 Street Southeast, Suite A1. Or you can go to Xfinity at the Silver Tips and try one there. Or you, what's mall. the website address? Uh, www.lazyboybring.com. Oh, that's simple enough. Well, uh, what? The tap room's kind of morphed, you know, 10 years ago, 11 years ago. There was, there was nobody in here. There, was, there wasn't much in here except the brewing stuff. And then about five years ago, we had the tap room, started a mug club membership, more people showed up. Yeah, and you know what, um, explain that mug cup membership. Um, we'll try to get a photo of that, but why, yeah. what yeah, is you that? Get, uh, local people come in, they pay an X amount for the mug, and then they get a um, discounted mug, they get more ounces per mug, they get a t-shirt, and then we throw them a party once a year with food. Wow, that's, that's very... That's good incentive to Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
You keep them partying, you keep them happy. That's it. Yeah. Well, Sean, thank you so much for giving your time. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for coming out. We and uh, it. and brewing a great a great ale, I tell you. And I'm gonna try the others too, but I really that Lazy Boy IPA is something else. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Squeeze me, put me down with a kiss and a smile. Even as a little boy, the ladies love my style. They pick me up and squeeze me, put me down with a pinch and a smile. The ladies are.